Hello everybody, this is Maximus McCullough with A1 Website Pro and I'm doing this for my new client Candace who has who is a awesome artist. But anyway, uh Woo Commerce has a plugin called Variation Swatches and Photos. And there is a learning curve to this, and so this is going to be probably a lengthy tutorial on to show you how you can do swatches in a uh WooCommerce. So if you don't know what a swatch is, that's whenever you pick a, 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 an item over here and you see the image change and you see this add to cart and the prices change too um, based on what you've set them at. Now there's a little learning code to making this all happen and this is what I'm going to show you how to do in uh, the WooCommerce plugin. So if you have a little bit of time, just sit down and sit back and uh, I will be making a post on my website a1websitepro.com and put it all in text there so you can follow it one step at a time as well because I know that this is a little bit of comp this is a little complicated and you know to get it all down sometimes you don't want to rewatch the video over again but I will have the video up there as well for you to see how I'm making this happen for the uh, the prices to change and so you can see the different things on a t-shirt so if you're ready to get started, we'll get right into it. Okay, just so I get you started on the right track, the first thing to do would be if you're going to use photographs like this, okay, then you would want to get all your photographs in order. Each one of these swatches are actually a different photograph, okay, a different picture. Now there is uh, uh, color swatches, like for instance, if you wanted uh, green, red, and blue, you would change these. Uh, to, to a green, red, and blue, and then, then you could have a different image appear over here depending on what uh, swatch they chose. So I'm going to show you how to get your images ready, and because it's very important that if you're going to use something like this, that you have your images all the same uh, width. Uh, do you see? It, whenever I've I've used uh, different images here, as far as uh, this t-shirt's concerned but you can see it jump around a little bit and maybe you don't want that so I'm going to show you how to make that so it doesn't jump around and I'm going to be using Photoshop uh, to, to show uh, you how to do this because Photoshop has layers you can also use fireworks or another uh, photo editor so let me get that up and get it ready for you okay now I'm going to start with this base image I have a t-shirt here okay now I want to put it right in the center okay I got my uh, my width and my height set and this is going to be my base layer and what I mean by layers is you see this over here I got layers okay so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to create another layer and what I want to do is I want to bring in the designs that Candace had made and uh, so I'm going to bring this uh, little graphic right here Okay, I bring it right here and I'm going to drop it on there. Now you see it's kind of all messed up right now, but what I want to do is I want to hold my shift key down and size this down. Okay, and I want to position it on the shirt. Now you'll click apply. Okay, and place the file. And then you want to get rid of all the white around this. So you just use your little magic wand tool, you know, and then highlight that okay let's see it's not directly edible so what I'll do is I'll resaturize that layer I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna right click and you see where it says resaturize resaturize that and then you hit delete and notice it deletes all the white in the back okay and so now we have our graphic here okay now I uh, what we want to do is go ahead and size it so it looks good on the shirt here okay so and then you gotta apply the transformation every time now what's great about this is I can uncheck this layer okay now I'm gonna get ready I'm gonna add another layer so I'm going to go down here and click add another layer okay and I'll make this hidden right here and I'll bring in my next graphic okay I'm just dragging and dropping this from my folders I'm holding my shift key down and I'm gonna scale this down you know where it looks good and I'm gonna put it over here now remember I gotta resaturize the layer first I gotta place it so I'll place the file and then this little graph here means I need to resaturize it okay and then I'll grab my little magic wand tool 
and highlight. Now you notice I'm getting a little bit of clip there, but uh, uh, so we'll see how that works out. Kind of deleted it. So you can get the tall. Here's how you adjust the tolerance level. Say you want the tolerance level to be two, okay? And that way you don't get so much, or or maybe not enough. So we'll try five. So you just play around with it a little bit till it's not cutting too much out. Then you hit delete. Okay. Now here's the other thing about these viewing. Now you see this layer here is a little bit further over than that layer there. So what I could do is I can use my placement tool and use my arrow keys and center them up. Maybe I want this back one to be over. I'm using my arrow left key. And you see, I'm I'm getting them so they're they're kind of in the same. So all right. So now I got that layer there, then I got that layer there. Now I'm going to bring in uh, two more designs and do it the same way. I'll add two more layers, and I'll bring in the designs, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I have all my layers set up. So here's the first layer. If I click the eye, click the next layer, the eye. See? And so I could see that it, they're all pretty much in the same position. Now, one of the other things that I wanted to bring out to you in Photoshop, if you're trying to, like, let's say, resize this image, and you want to make sure that you're not messing with any other layers, what you would want to do is lock the layer. And that keeps that layer from, from going anywhere or, you know, mistakenly edit it while you're edit editing one layer. Because whatever you have highlighted here is what you're actually editing. But that little lock there is just a little... Um, a little extra security. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I'll have to unlock these layers. And let me unlock this one here. All right, and we're going to start with this one first. Okay, now in Photoshop, we can save for web. So we go File, Save for Web. Now we're going to export these as JPEGs, uh, which is nice. And uh, so, uh, let me see here. Maximum, yeah, we want the images to look good. So we'll have maximum quality. And then I'm going to click Save. Okay, and I have a little uh, folder here for Candice under Shirts. And these are the old shirts. So uh, let me make another folder. We'll call these New Shirts. Okay, I'll double click and I'll open that folder. And I'll click Save. All right. Now I'll unhighlight this one, highlight the next one, file, save for web, save. Now I want to give this another uh, name. Um, you should name these, uh, you know, what, uh, what they actually are. Like if they're lobster, they have a picture of a lobster on them or something like that. Or lobster, uh, oh, let's see, a t-shirt. So that's good for search engine optimization. Whenever you're bringing it into WordPress, you know, it'll already be named for you. So file, save for web, save, and that looks like a, I don't know, rooster t-shirt, possibly. Save, and then finally we'll highlight this one, and then file, save for web, and Put this as a designer t-shirt. Okay. All right. So now we have all of these exported, and I'll show you the folder here. So we have these these fo these t-shirts that we're going to use for our swatches. Okay. So next we're going to go into our WordPress, and I'll start showing you how to set things up there. You know, I couldn't help but. Uh, think of whenever I was making this video you know I go back and I watch and try to see make sure I'm covering all the points and I never realized how much I sounded like Bob Ross uh, you know make a happy little picture happy little t-shirt pictures hmm I used to watch that guy every day my what a beautiful face anyway okay so let's see here <clears throat> So the first thing that we want to do when it comes to swatches variables is we, we, we go to our products here and right down here where it says attributes, we've got to add attribute. Now, I already have one that's called shirts. Let me call this one design, D-E-S-I-G-N. -E, oh yeah, D -E -S -I -G -N. 
Okay, and then I'm going to use it as the slug too. Okay, design. Or you know what? Let's go t-shirt designs. Does that sound better? This is a happy little t-shirt design. Oh, put me a happy little eye right there. Okay, t-shirt design. All right. And under type, we're going to leave that select. Under custom ordering, I'm going to order it by the name, and then I'm going to add add attribute. Okay. Now over here, see here where it says configure terms. We're going to go in here, and uh, we're going to add some terms. Um, we have one that was called Rooster, and I'll give it a slug called Rooster. And I'm not going to give it a description, but the swatch type is going to be image, right? So then I need to add or upload an image. Now here's the great thing about WordPress. Whenever you see this screen right here, you can take all your happy little t-shirt images, highlight them all at one time, drag and drop, and then put them happy little t-shirts right in their place. Okay. So the, first, the one that's called Rooster is the one that I want to insert into this. And so I insert that, and then uh, I'll add a new t-shirt design, and you see that I have that in the terms. Okay, now the next one, um, the next one that I have, uh, they'll call 16 North, so we'll call 16 North, put 16 North there, okay, and it's going to be an image type. And so we'll go ahead and now we'll go to our media library and we'll look for the 16 North shirt and show it and then insert it. And then add the new t-shirt design. You see that we have that there. Now I'm going to add the other two just like I did there and I'll be right back with you. Okay, now you can see that I have all of my attributes set up here. The lobster t-shirt, designer t-shirt, 16 North and Rooster. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to add a product. Okay, so this, we'll call this my t-shirt swatches. Okay, just a happy little t-shirt and this is a description. We want to put that in there. We want to give it a category, of course, and we'll call this T-shirts. Okay, add new product category. Now, down here under product data, what we want is a variable product. Okay, all right, that's what we want to do. We'll give it an SKU number. We'll just go one one one. Okay, and we'll go down here to attributes. Okay. And remember, we want t-shirt design was our attribute, so we're just going to click add. Okay, and uh, we'll hit select all, because we want to bring all those uh, variables in there. And we want them visible on the product page and used for variation. And then click save attributes, okay? The next step, what we want to do is go down here to variations, okay? Now, what we want to do is select link all variations. It'll give us this little, are you sure you want to do it? And you click OK. And then so it gives you another little friendly happy warning for variations added. And click OK. And then you'll be able to see the variations right there. Okay? Now, you can add them, add the, uh, the pictures to them in the variations. We add them we added them in the attributes, now we can add them in the variations. So this first one, 16 North, we want to go to our media library and go to our 16 North t-shirt. Uh, another way you could search for them real quick is just put in a, the number. Okay, so we have our 16 North right here. That's the one that I created. So I'll click set variation image. Alright, we'll go to the next one and this one uh, this next one here is called designer t-shirt so we want designer s i g n and we got that right there and we'll set as variation image the next one will have lobster so we'll just type in lobster that's why it's important to name your files 
and them happy little names. All right, and then the next one is the rooster and R O S T. Okay, there we go. And set variation image. All right, there we go. Now, the other thing that we want to do is set a featured image. Now, I think what I'm going to do is hit, I'm going to upload a blank t-shirt file. So I'm going to go back to my Photoshop. I'm going to unlink all this, click File, Save for Web, Save, and I'll type blank, B-L-A-N-K-T, blank T. Okay, and then I'll go back to my WordPress, I'll select my files, go back to the new shirts, grab the blank T. And I'm going to set that as my featured image. So then that way, whenever they're selecting variables, you know, that we can make all the magic happen there. Now, one of the things that you don't want to forget is required information. Okay, now see this variation price, see it's required information because with each variable you set a price. So we'll put this one at $10 and we'll go to this next variable price and put it at $20. Okay, or $17, well, let's see, we'll just keep it. And then the next variable we will set at $30. Then if we had a sale price, we could put it here. We'll put this at 15, just so you see what it looks like. And then this next one, we'll put it $40. And then maybe a sale price of 35. Now we'll go publish our happy little T-search watches. And go here. Well, let's go um, view product. We'll click view product. Okay. Now as you look at this, this drop down you'll see your different images come up and you'll see the prices change accordingly okay and then here's the one the sale on sale from thirty dollars to fifteen dollars you see okay now you're probably asking me well Max where are the little happy icons at well that's where we get into the swatches okay so we're gonna go back scroll down so that's how you set the variables. Now we got to do the swatches. So the product attribute name is T-shirt design. Okay. Now the type we want to choose custom colors and images. Okay. Now we're going to set our images. So this image for 16 North, we have to set this image. Now you could uh, use a color, but right now we're going to go. We have to set the image again. Okay. 16 North. We want that image to show as the little icon. We're setting the little icon images now. See now, if we if we wanted to set it as a color, we would we would set it as a color like that, okay? But we don't want colors. We want the images that we worked so hard for. Okay, so let's go back to Media Library and this one. Oh, my memory is failing me. Is designer T-shirt? Okay, so Media Library. We want designer T-shirt. I see it right here. You can search for it if you're having problems, but and then this one's lobster. I'm trying to talk, teach, and operate at the same time is challenging. So we'll go here, insert into post, and then finally we'll have the rooster, which that will be an image. Go to media library, insert our rooster t shirt, insert into post, okay? So that's what we want to do. So now we have all our swatches configured. And we'll click Update Product. Okay. Let that update. And now we'll see this little drop down will turn into our swatches. So there you go. You have this little image, that happy little images in there for your happy little t shirts. And you're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so that's how you set swatches and variables in WooCommerce. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I've tried to make it as happy as possible. And uh, this is Maximus McCullough signing off, wishing you a happy, happy day.